Oh, man. So slow. CP All right, let's take a look at this thing. SCP-5000. That's a lot of SCPs. Ugh, oh, Dr. Tahoney. Man, there's a lot of data in here. Let's read, let's look at the summary first. All right, summary. Item number, SCP-5000. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-5000 is to be kept in a deactivated state within its standard storage unit located at Site-22. All files and intelligence received from SCP-5000 are to be stored on a secure server with backups available upon request from the archival department. Ugh, maybe I'll have to request those. This could be useful. Um, alright, description. SCP-5000 is a non-functioning mechanical suit identified within its internal schematics as an absolute exclusion harness designed by the SCP Foundation. Although SCP-5000 is believed to have once possessed a number of anomalous functions intended to protect and benefit its occupant, damage inflicted on it in the past means it's currently only capable of basic file storage. For a record of files contained within SCP-5000 upon recovery, see Archive 5000-1 and Archive 5000-2. SCP-5000 first appeared in a flash of light within SCP-579's containment chamber at Site-62C on 12.04. 2020, containing a corpse genetically identical to Foundation employee Pietro Wilson. Pietro Wilson is currently employed at Exclusionary Site 62, and amnestic therapy has confirmed that he has no knowledge of SCP-5000 or memories concerning the events detailed within its archives. Hmm. You know, I've heard of this Archive 1. I haven't heard of this Archive 2. It seems relatively new. You should check that out. Well, I see why I haven't heard of it. When did I get upgraded to clearance level 4? The following is a message composed via consensus of the O5 Council. Warning. Only SCP staff with clearance level 4 and above can view this archive. Accessing this without the proper clearance will be cause for termination or immediate amnestic treatment. Hmm. I should probably check my clearance, but eh, I'm sure it's fine. No one's paying attention. Though the suit was quite damaged and only limited video and audio recordings could be extracted, Technicians were able to extract video files containing footage of GOC operations within SCP sites that Wilson had downloaded from GOC servers. The reason for including these files is unknown, but because the footage contains in-depth exploration of SCP sites, it is deemed a security risk and requires level 4 clearance to view. Many of the video files have been corrupted or unviewable, but one was able to be cleaned up. Note, all video files have had extraneous irrelevant footage expunged. Well. Might as well start at the beginning. Uh, command. Echo. I've entered the site. No one's around for now. All right. Guess we'll open this up. Sure, nothing bad. Man, we got signs of uh, some sort of anomaly here. Not really sure what it is. I'm gonna cut my way through it. it seems to be resistant to my nothing. I'll try and see if I can find some explosives to get through. But don't mind if I do. Oh, oh what happened here? Oh, 
class. They are. So what happened? All right, follow the suspicious cable. You know, military training. Told me to watch out for these kind of things. These are their foundation traps. Mm. A big thing labeled power. Seems to be important. All right, good to know. Man, we've got uh, what looks to be a possible cognito hazard. Guy has head gone. Huh. That's not a good sign. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep, we've got definitely signs of a, of a dangerous cognito hazard. Seems to be manipulating the screens around here. If I turn off the power, I should prevent it from using manipulating stuff. Ah, I was afraid of this. over there, there's nowhere to go. Alright, taking out most of the screens. All it can do is flee to there. Into the lock. Interesting. I don't recognize those anomalies. What the hell? What's going on? Warning, a containment breach has oh, been detected. Oh fuck, not again. All personnel must evacuate to on-site bunkers immediately. <laughs>